Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome. What's to what? that? What is this? Are you cheesing my no. go-to line? This, my friends, is uh, <laughs> rhymes with play. The <laughs> Slowly now. <laughs> you only get one shot at this, yeah, otherwise the whole thing's ruined. <laughs> uh, let me try again. Welcome to Rhymes with Play, our weekly clay dev cast where we show stuff. Play the games so that we make it clay. Yes, that's, that's correct. A great Gosh darn. <laughs> I should uh, be in marketing, dude. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Um, my name is Yog. I'm a programmer on Oxygen Not Included, and this is Jambell. I am a sound designer on Oxygen Not Included. Um, so yeah, so if you if you got here through the forum post, um, you already know what we're going to show. But if not, um, so what we're doing today, um, we are going to be showing a very early preview of some of the new stuff coming for Oxygen Not Included. Um, yeah, uh, so before we jump in, and we will be playing the game, a uh, little bit of housekeeping first. Um, <laughs> housekeeping? <laughs> Sorry, well, there's just some things I want to it talk about sense. before we actually get into yeah, it. That makes sense. Um, for those of you who um, are new to uh, the early access, who, aren't, who haven't seen the other updates we've done, and I don't mean the, the hot fixes, uh, I just want to talk about, so, what we've been doing in the past and what we're doing again this time is uh, in between content updates, we release hot fixes. And then at the update, we do a, a drop of content, new systems, new things you can build, things like that. But it also comes with a bunch of other improvements, like UI improvements, frame rate, things like yeah. that. A um, couple of other things. Uh, for those of you who uh, own a Mac, all 10%? Um, <laughs> I think that's ten percent of machines in the world are Macs. Are Macs? Oh, okay. Some, I don't know. It's some number like that. Max um, facts with Yog. Max facts. I screwed that up. It's okay. I, I, you, had, <laughs> you were doing great, and then I came yeah. in and. Uh, um, so uh, we've been working on that. Um, we will probably open it if you were there when we did the uh, preview for the thermal upgrade. We'll probably do a preview <laughs> for the Mac build probably in about two weeks, um, and then sometime after that. Um, we will release it live on Steam. Um, other stuff. Um, so what we're going to show you today, um, it is early. Uh, things might change. Um, things might not make it in. New things might come in, things like that. It won't necessarily work the way you see it here. But uh, we're feeling pretty good, and we're feeling ready to actually start showing what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, um, we still have a lot of work to do. Um, excuse our mess. Um, but, what mess? Uh, me? What we're about to show. <laughs> there are some people uh, cheesing you on this chat here, saying, "How many dupes are you going to kill, uh, etc." That's cool. That's You've become a bit of a villain. Those are my super fans. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be careful <laughs> if I were you. <laughs> How did he die? Yeah. Yog. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, well, you got a base so. already made up here? Uh, no. So I just. Um, Oh, I picked a nice world. You're starting right from the top, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just nice. right from the beginning. Oh, I see. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I just um, I went through. Um, so actually, one of the things we're actually working on is um, uh, world generation and making the worlds look more interesting, the biomes look more interesting. So I spent a little bit of time rolling and trying to find mm. an interesting one to show some stuff. Cool. Um, so yeah, so here it is. Here's a brand new build. Um, simple little. Thing you can see right away. This actually has a little meter now, which tells you when your next. Oh game yeah, that's new, in. eh? Um, can I interrupt you real quick? I know yeah. you have important things to do, but we got to name these gosh darn dupes. We have to name these dupes. Yeah. Okay. Three names. First names we see. Oh, you know what? Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> we can't see. It. That's how we were gonna do this one. as an audio only. We're gonna just describe it to you. You know, Jan needs like a, a button or a buzzer or something. Like a little zap, like it electrocutes us. Yeah. I'm so sorry, guys. Well, it's a good thing you read the chat, because I was done the whole thing like that. And at the end, been like, oh, we have to redo it. Jan is just from banging on the door. <laughs> yeah. Turn on the game! Hashtag first time streamers. Swift. <laughs> Savage. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Streaming is not how I make my living, and there's a reason for that, because I am not the best at it. Yeah, well. Um, there are a lot of people in chat who are way better at it than I am. But hey, guess what? Look, you can see the game. <laughs> You're it, welcome, everyone. Doesn't it look fine? Um, so sorry, yeah, you were saying names. Names. Did you actually see me? I saw Michi, M-I-C-H-I. 
M I C H I. No capitalizing, eh? You just have no respect for the language. No, I can't type, but keep ah, I see. <laughs> I gotcha. Uh, stream Bean. S T R E A M. Like uh, stream. Stream? Bean. Yep. Okay. Uh, yo yo. I'm going with yo yo. Yo yo? Yeah. I think you showed preferential treatment there. You yeah. Like three names. <laughs> I like yo yo. Yeah. yeah like it reminds yo -yo. me a bit of Earthbound, and I'm into it. Cool. Wait, did they? Uh, uh, that's not important to discuss here. Continue. No, it's not on the classic, if that's what you were thinking. What? Earthbound. It's on the SNES classic. No, sound. Is yes, it, it is. Well, that makes it even better. It's a Stream must -buy. is Earthbound on the SNES classic. Anyways. Yeah, go on. What I was saying Show before, uh, simple little thing right at the <laughs> beginning. Um, cool little uh, meter on the telepad actually tells you when a dupe's going to come in. Um, I am just going to go set up a couple of things before we actually get into the really meaty stuff. I know some people have already noticed uh, a few new overlays. Um, I'm going to be showing what each of them does in the, a little bit later. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to... Because I was playing this a little bit earlier and uh, it didn't go well. <laughs> I was, I was kind of like rehearsing talking while playing the game. I was like, oh. Sitting at your desk. It's just like every time, I, every other time I stream this game is talking and uh, playing doesn't work at all. Yeah, that's so, fine. Yeah. I still believe in you. That's cool. It that's turns a mistake, out that, but uh, that's cool. Here, hold on. Can I uh, get in here mm -hmm. a moment? Uh, <clears throat> very important, uh, the Earthbound is on the SNES Classic. Oh. Hey, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see, okay. I was cranking that down a little bit there. You know what? <laughs> Sorry, Vince, you're out. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, take her away. All right. Um, yes, it's mushrooms. I will get to those in a sec. Um, you will see, uh, if you pay attention to the world, you'll see random new things, and then uh, we'll cover some of them in the stream, and a few of them we'll get into in uh, future streams. But, okay, so... I, uh, I rushed outhouses. That was my opening. I was wondering why you built four <laughs> outhouses immediately. Overkill. Yeah, I think you, you're overestimating the problems that you're about to face here. Well, so first overlay I want to show. So uh, you're right. Four toilets is a mistake. It's actually not a better build in this game. It's just I built four for fun. But um, bringing up uh, what is the disease overlay. Um, so one of the big things we are revamping um, in this update is the way disease works. Um, so disease is actually a system now and it's simulated. So here, uh, what you can see is the outhouse is a source of disease, in this case food poisoning. Um, right now, in this current build, there's just the one disease and that's what we're going to be showing this update. I think before the stream started, Maybe it was you, maybe it was a legit person, but someone was like, I'm not a legit really person. Want. You're saying I'm not a legit person? Well, someone was actually like, you know what I really wish for? Disease. Or, sorry, they said toxicity. So this someone is in all... here? Yeah. Oh, really? I was like, it's well, all that's for you. convenient. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <coughs> um, so, what we're going to be showing today is um, we're going to kind of show how the disease spreads throughout your base. Um, and probably in one of the future streams, we're going to show you the different solutions and how you can get around that. Um, but cool. disease, um, you will see it'll kind of move around your base. Um, it spreads based on contact. It's sensitive to temperature. It's sensitive to the gases it's in. So it plays with a lot of the other systems that are already in the game. Yeah. Um, makes you really think about where uh, you lay things out and how close they are to things. Nice. Mew the Mew is concerned why an outhouse would give you food poisoning, and that's a question that uh, we are not at liberty to answer. <laughs> Who knows what you're yeah. doing in that outhouse? You exactly. close that door. Uh, exactly. You know. All right. So let's see. So I'm gonna build those, um, and then up here. I'll, I'll field a question while, yeah, uh, sure. while you're doing so. Pinstar is asking. My son is asking what that tube on the printer is. It's actually a meter that uh, fills up and shows you in this view how far away from getting a new duplicate you are. Okay. So I'm going to build some power up there, and I need to build some ladders up here to get some metal. Um, while they're building this, uh, next thing I'll kind of talk about. So um, this art over here, I can't see any point, I don't think, but um, someone pointed out there are mushrooms in the world. This is a new plant you can grow, uh, feeds your dupes. Uh, this plant actually require, or needs to be grown in carbon dioxide and has a relatively okay temperature. Uh. Um, but this is kind of early art. This will be replaced with something better. But um, you'll be able to see, so 
uh, you'll kind of see the process of the mushroom and how it gets built in the game. And, nice. Because um, we do the art streams where uh, we just draw stuff. Um, and then we say this is how the process actually works. And yeah. the mushrooms here, you'll actually be able to see it live in game and see it actually turn into yeah, something yeah, cool. Yeah. Uh, so this is, like you can see, it's kind of scribbly concept art and it has the little stages. Um, yeah. So uh, let's see. I'm going to dig upward. going to build myself a generator and some batteries. Cool. Some batteries, eh? Some batteries. You're just, uh, Maybe not that bad. No, you can if you want. Don't Every time I spam something, you know, <laughs> do you really want no, yo, that yeah. many batteries? And yes, yes. How much do. power we really need here? And then let's go. Is this where I want my research stations? No, let's do it above. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Legendary Mudkip says scribbly concept art is some of my favorite art. I agree, actually. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to do like a. You know, um, some games, they do uh, the post filters, like mm -hmm. you can play in black and white or whatever. Yeah. If you could do uh, the scribbly. Yeah, thing, yeah. That'd be hard. Be though. careful with what you say here, because <laughs> you that's know what happens I, when you mention a feature on stream. And, yeah, that's uh, how I got stuck making follow cap, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which I actually really enjoyed. But yeah. it was because I said some silly things on stream, like yeah. follow cam would be great. Yeah. Lo well, and behold, it was great. <laughs> Night time. Yeah, so soon they will actually go to the bathroom and you will see what that does for you. Uh, what other awesome stuff that I had while we're waiting for this? Um, oh, uh, while they're actually doing this, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to prioritize this stuff up here. Um, Use your keyboard there, bud. You ruin all the fun. Sorry, is that out already? Yeah, huh, no. It's not? No. Mm. Um, I ruined but yeah, it, I apologize. Uh, Big request, you can... I'll uh, be over here. <laughs> you use uh, keyboard shortcuts to adjust the priority now, so uh, hit 9, go and place 9. Um, other thing is uh, the priorities are more consistent now, so for example, if I mark something for deconstruct, I can actually see that now, I can prioritize that, uh, mm. which is cool. But um, the, if the tile isn't marked for deconstruct, it's not, same thing with art, same thing. Basically, whenever you would expect to be able to prioritize something, you should be able to and if not, well, the system's set up so I can fix that for you. <laughs> <laughs> Just be, yeah. be loud enough in your uh, requests. So here we go. Is this going to happen? Hey yeah. So uh, basically toilet. what happens is uh, Dupe uses the toilet. Uh, toilet gets infected. Here you can see how, my, how many germs are in the toilet. Transfers to the dupe. And now as the dupe's walking around and interacts with things, um, you will slowly see the disease spread um, to things around them. Uh, so, for example, um, once this dupe here oh, no. goes to the bathroom, has a great time. Oh, gosh. It kind of disturbs me that there's more germs on the dupe than in the toilet. <laughs> That's like just they're out? <laughs> rather messy. It's an outhouse. Have, <laughs> yeah. you been to, have you been camping? Yes. This is what happens. Yeah, it's, yeah, no, this I'll is never. where you go home and you take a shower after you go camping. <laughs> yeah. Never camping again. All right. So we got one of these dupes to actually go, well, I'll turn it off now, but once they actually start using the manual generator, you'll kind of see it uh, spread throughout your base. Um, I actually ruined you. They're not going to use that generator because you've already uh, recharged all the batteries. Oh, it's true. I will start using the power soon. Mm -hmm. No, never mind. I'm just going to actually use the power instead of like baking it. It'll come, right. come with time. Right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Um, I'm going to start researching some farming so I can actually go and play with the mushrooms. Deal. Um, and then do I actually... Oh, I chose so poorly. <laughs> like really not... You chose O dupes? Yeah. Ah, yeah. The challenge mode. So. Uh, Entropy asks, can we prioritize valves? Uh, you mean when you are switching the setting on valves? Uh, you are correct. You can't right now, but he's writing one it down. Sec. Wait, <laughs> it's, uh, there valve. it is. He's writing it. You see that? I didn't even write the full prioritize. Did you see my childish handwriting? No. Now I'm going to be made fun of. <laughs> no, dude. It's really bad. <laughs> you should see mine. It's a. It doesn't even look like a child yeah. could write as such. So you can see here my awesome researcher uh, who uh, got sick at the uh, outhouse actually went and worked at the research station. Uh, so now some of the disease from the researcher transferred to the 
um, research station. So the way it works is the disease slowly spreads through your base. Um, you, uh, your dupes have immunity and it eats at that. And if their immunity gets fully eaten, um, they actually catch the disease. So they're carriers right now. They're not actually sick yet. So it's not like you start uh, you build an outhouse and all of a sudden um, they are. I'm also over the, uh, sorry? Ah, oh, never mind. Do you? Um, You're it's talking about their immune system. Oh, sure, yeah. So you can see here, uh, immune system is going down. Why? Because I'm fighting off food poisoning. Um, if you had no disease sources in your base, the disease would slowly just die off. Um, the next thing I wanted to show uh, while we're researching some farming, um, where am I going to do this? Let's do this over here. Um, actually, we'll do it here. So, um, new building. Um, so what we're trying out right now, again, like I said, this is early. This, uh, this might stick, this might not, but um, this is a liquid pumping station. So instead of the dupes just grabbing water from anywhere in the world, um, we felt it was important that you had control over where they actually got water from. Um, especially if you're doing something like when you pour water over the algae habitats, um, this lets you, by making you build a building, you can control where it actually comes from, and then they won't actually go steal the water mm -hmm. that you're, you want the algae habitats to yeah. absorb. Um, I'm excited about that one. This should also, uh, for those of you who um, have played um, the deep games for a couple hundred cycles, um, the dupes had trouble uh, basically keeping up with all the liquid events that happened in the world, and it would often uh, phantom pick up water from different places. Mm -hmm. So again, this um, <coughs> this kind of uh, lets you control that, and that fixes that problem. It also helps a lot with frame rate, which is nice. Um, this will also mean that, um, or you'll see once this is built, um, you can actually uh, click on it and it'll tell you how much water, so right now the water tells you, sorry about the little bug at the bottom left, but the water it says that's available is the cells that the, this thing touches. Um, so the water that you have access to will be more accurate and then once the pump is out of range, um, basically like if you suck up all your water and say the water level is down here, the pump gets a status item, tells you like there's no water that mm. you can actually reach. I see, I see. Um, yeah, so that's the water pump. Uh, we have the research going. Um, I am going to, um, these mushrooms here, they need carbon dioxide, so I'm actually going to start digging down here so that uh, I can grow my, or put my planter boxes down there. While you're doing that, I'll yeah. toss some questions your sure. way. Lumisteria asks, uh, so you can prioritize on deconstruct can you also prioritize on repair? Uh, He's writing it down. Actually, I, that's that's not even true. I'm pretty sure you can actually do that now, but I want. Just I will double sure. check. That's but, a, that a boy. That a boy. Yeah. Uh, Shadow GX100. Are there more diseases on the shower, toilet, or outhouse? And are there new kinds of diseases? Um. So. Uh, the old diseases are gone and are going to be replaced by new things. Uh, the first one we're really showing is this one, and then um, we will see as the, the, the weeks come by. But yes, there will be different diseases. Um, each disease acts different. Um, so the things they're sensitive to, um, the way they spread, uh, things mm. like that, uh, will be different per disease. Things just, just like uh, plants is like, they have different conditions that they thrive in versus right, different yeah. conditions that they die, die off in. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was, oops. So I guess depending on how your base looks and is, different diseases will be more uh, common. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Playing, streaming, same time. It's terrible. Oh, there yeah. we go. Just do that and never do anything else. Um, yeah. You can take a couple more questions while I'm sending this stuff up. Pinstar, if a dupe catches a disease and fights it off, do they become immune? Um, if a dupe catches a disease and fights it off, I'm pretty sure the way it is right now is they are, their immunity is restored. Um, so we've been talking about should, should they become immune permanently or should they just reset or things like that. That's not, not sure yet. Um, something we're figuring out. Um, the, let's see. Oh my god, I picked the narcoleptic to research because mm. of that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they might both be mar narcoleptics. Uh, let's switch this to... Oh, this. Michi, you're demoted. 
<laughs> I apologize. Yeah. Oh, you're just cruising away now. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, sweep some of this stuff up while we're at it. Uh, where am I going to sweep things to? Let's say here. And let's build some food while... Because uh, I want to build them, or I want to grow the mushrooms, but they actually kind of have um, a long growth cycle, so I'll mm. probably need something in the meantime. Uh, a couple of frame, rate, frame rate related questions. Sure. Uh, talking about the uh, long playtime bases and mm -hmm. if frame rate will be improved on those. Um, so. Um, a couple of the hotfixes did make those a little bit better. Um, I think with the the water changes here, they should be a little bit better. That's still a thing we have to work at, but uh, the goal is to keep making it better. Uh, who am I going to go <coughs> Do you want to pick a name? We yeah, I'll get a name. You pick a dupe, I'll pick a name. Let's see some names here. Can <laughs> <it's a laughs> Mew the Mew says consumer of realms. Yeah. El Memberino says Bob, which uh, I've been watching Twin Peaks, and I gotta tell you, I don't want a Bob in my colony. Consumer Realm's pretty good. Let's go with that. Is there actually? Uh, oh, that one's great. Cool. Print this stuff. Hooray! Consumer of Realms. That's Consumer. a pretty long name. <laughs> it's not longer than our boy Redward. I'll tell you <laughs> that. That's for gosh dang sure. And actually, here it sounds. I'm not ashy spirit when the research fires. There's a little speakers on here. Pardon me, gang. Uh, so you can see here. Oh, how's that? Be, yeah, it's too good. loud. What do you think? Oh, it's good. Louder? No, it's good. You want it louder yet? You it's want to enjoy good. that fine? It's wonderful. <laughs> fine work. It's wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> um, gosh darn! Right. Oh, it might be a bit loud yet. But yeah, you can see now um, these um, these two outhouses have been used more than the other ones, so they're quite infected. And as the dupes who leave these outhouses go around, oh. uh, it kind of spreads across everything they use. Getting on the ladder. Yeah, you can see as they go. Actually, I think this interesting enough. Um, I don't think it actually spreads on touch of ladder yet. I think this is actually because they built the ladder when they were. Oh, uh, I see. I see. Or. Built or built the ladder out of something diseased. Right. Yeah. 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 If there's disease in your storage mm -hmm. locker. So uh, research is done. Let's go. We're gonna build some planter boxes down here. Um, Mew the Mew asks. So this, yeah. does this make dupes with the negative attribute biohazard extra dangerous? Um, I don't know what that one looks like. Uh, I don't know if we've changed it yet. We haven't really done much with uh, traits and disease yet. Yeah. Kind of just. Uh, Really, the way it kind of works out is um, we started and we wanted to turn disease into a cool simulation, and then we wanted to make it spread, and then um, everything else kind of falls out from that. Yeah, it's like, exactly. Um, what's an interesting disease trait? What's an interesting way to prevent it? What's an inter interesting way to deal with it after yeah. you're fully sick? Once you get the system um, set up, it's easier yeah. to do the fun stuff around that. Uh, you're making food. People are asking stuff. when this update will be out. Um, so, unfortunately, uh, right now, um, I would put it at weeks, um, but uh, still a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. um, still want to do a bunch of testing, tuning on it. Um, want to work more on figuring out what the, the funnest ways to cure things are and prevent are. But, uh, yeah, um, we're working on it. We're working really hard on it. It's coming. Um, while these guys are asleep, um, other overlay I want to show. Um, so uh, farming um, got a little bit of a revamp. Uh, not as big as uh, disease, but um, easiest to show in the overlay. So first thing is, there's a new farming overlay. Um, it makes it really easy to see uh, at what stage your plants are. So like if they're really close to being grown, it's really easy to tell like, oh, this one can't grow. Why? Because it's in bad atmosphere. You get oh, the you little icons underneath. Thing there, yeah. um, these here, are, they can't grow because they don't have fertilizer. Um, the actual changes are, so um, instead of having um, yield be the thing and having the one plant kind of fill different roles and restrictions, so the reason we added the mushrooms is we're going to make more plants uh, and actually have them fill different roles, have different conditions, things mm. like that, and kind of make it easier to understand uh, what's going on. 
So yeah, so you can see even in the wild, even if the plants aren't planted, you can see um, if they're growing or not and why aren't they growing and what's going on. Uh, makes it really easy to pick out. I've been really liking this uh, overlay because if I'm, I'm lo running low on food, I'll just pop that overlay on, zoom out, look for green, and go, ah, yeah. we got some stuff that's growing there. <laughs> yeah, basically after we did the, the harvest overlay, um, again, everyone keeps saying it, but it's just reinforce or repetition makes you uh, realize uh, what's that, how good it actually is, is that uh, presenting the stuff through overlay, like mm. not having to click through the plants yeah. um, is really, really nice. Yeah. Because um, it's super quick to figure out what's going on, what's wrong. You see how I left it not making food forever because again, streaming and playing is just not. What did you do? I d this wasn't connected to any power, oh. and I'm sure someone there said something, <laughs> yeah, but you but I <laughs> said nothing, <laughs> which is cool, that's fine. I'm betraying you. I like yeah. to, see you, uh, to see you fail. Mushroom soup, oh, interesting. Uh, I should actually be researching. So not this, let's do, I want to get to uh, the flush toilet, because I want to, so the outhouse spreads um, when you, use it and the flush toilet, the, the disease spread is actually through the pipes. So once you start uh, using the flush toilet, now you have a little bit more control over the spread of your disease. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm going to get a liquid pump, get the flush toilet and give that a go. How's your uh, micro musher as far as disease goes? Uh, how is my like micro musher? Is there a lot of germs on that little baby? Yeah, so uh, the uh, you can see that little piece of food there that fell out. It was actually diseased, and um, the person who ends up eating it will actually get sick as well. I actually need some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel like that. Don't. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. <sighs> You're saying way too much. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually going to burn some algae instead of using the habitats, because I, because of the CO2, I want to kind of keep it around for the mushrooms. Uh, so let's see. Let's. Just make a couple there. Um, That's a lot of, uh, lot of deoxidizers there, buddy. I fixed that. <laughs> Every, I, I baited you. Yeah, I you like, did. <laughs> I fell right for it, man. Yeah. Oh, gosh darn fell right for it. I know. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, Michi here uses toilets, doesn't wash hands, makes food. Yeah. This is the thing that has long disturbed me about this game. And now so they it don't matters. wash their hands. Yeah, it, like I don't want my cook to go from the toilet to the flipping yep. micro musher. So that's actually uh, something we're playing with right now. Um, I probably won't have a chance to show it in this stream, but uh, we're playing around. Uh, if if you played the game before, the hand sanitizer is kind of a little bit silly. Takes <laughs> takes chlorine, washes your hands. You should just build a shower. You should never build a, a hand sanitizer in the live build. And if you do, it's the wrong strategy. I'm pretty sure almost all the time. Yeah. I don't want to knock on every strategy. There's probably a good one there that yeah. uses it, but really you shouldn't build it. But um, what we're playing around with now is that the hand sanitizer, you place it just outside your outhouses, and now um, as they walk away from the outhouse, they will actually clean their hands, which removes the disease, nice. which reduces the spread. Yeah. Um, so disease, like you will, um, you have ways of curing it, but you also want to kind of prevent the spread and isolate it. Um, yeah. So <coughs> Someone was asking, uh, will you add, uh, I, f I didn't see the name up here, I apologize, but okay. um, will you add airborne diseases? Um, so this one actually spreads to the air. Um, when does it spread to the air again? So right now, um, once they clean the toilet and you have um, the uh, polluted dirt on the ground, it actually spreads to the air. Spewing. And yeah, so some diseases, if the dupes are carriers, when they breathe, that'll actually transfer to the air. Mm. So again, if your disease is sensitive to temperature, for example, if you kept the area warm where that's happening, then uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. So I'm actually going to build some beds up there. Not because beds are new, just because I'm going to build beds. Um, the uh, the other thing about uh, rework or disease and all the things that kind of fall out of working on disease is um, a lot of people ask like, why don't we just make the the medical stations work like the massage tables? And it's because we're kind of revisiting mm. uh, treating disease and treating people who are sick yeah. uh, as part of this. Yeah. Um, probably show. Uh, how that kind of works uh, in a later stream. 
cool. We've got some oxygen. This is going. This is still, um, this is more arted up than the scratchy little mushrooms here, but um, this is still kind of temp art. Um, this is just like one, this, I would say this is kind of like the stage above this one. Yeah. Um, and you haven't even had a chance to do anything to it. So yeah, it's just very, got popped in. Very silent. Yeah. Um, you can see, look at my little mushrooms. Yeah. They're having a good time. They're growing. Everything's fine. And I think they take 10 cycles before they're actually useful, which is why I am going to mush bar it up. Now that I saw that needs darkness, those mushrooms? Yeah, you can actually put them in light. Cannot. So, cannot. Cool. So, um, actually, that's an interesting thing I forgot to mention. So, um, before this update, your plants were sensitive to temperature, irrigation, fertilizer, um, and we added light. Um, mm. Sorry, they were, they were sensitive to pressure before. Um, but we added light, and we also added a uh, specific gas restriction. Ah, I see. Oh, like it must be in carbon dioxide, I see. You can also see, even when you click on the plant, it's much easier to just see, like, everything's yeah. okay. If you Little hover over it, it tells you what it actually is and what's going on. Be nice, be nice. Barren space. Can we get the ability, now that we're using these water pumpers, to sweep or store gas or liquid bottles? Uh... Not yet, but it's a thing we need to do. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Um, while this is running, I have all this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I want. Um, I, I forget. So this one I forget, which is uh, kind of sad. But I forget if the coloring is actually in the live build. But which the, coloring? The, on the buttons. So the consumable screen actually colors the food based on if it's better or worse than what the dupe expects. Oh, so like this very purple yeah. or whatever is very good yeah. compared now, to them. The, the thing I know that's not in the live build is the fact that this actually only reveal, shows the ones that you've discovered or mm. the recipes you can build as opposed to, hey, guess what? Here's all the food in the game, which is kind of... Yeah. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> kind of I mean, if, if you've played the game before... Um, and you know all the food, like this isn't a great change, but for a new player coming in, it's a little bit less overwhelming, a little bit cooler. Yeah, um, yeah. It's like playing an RPG and it's saying, here's the end boss that you're going to fight in a while. Yeah. See you soon. Actually, to be fair, even for a player who's played before, yeah. uh, there's no p new plants and things in the world, so they get to actually discover that yeah, on, yeah, or yeah. on the stream. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's say, uh, what are you doing there? You got a sec? Yeah. You got a, 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 a moment? Yeah, I'm going to build some helping <coughs> stuff soon, but... Uh... Vlad Remy asks, so polluted oxygen is going to be a disease vector, making it important to filter that? Um, so, a couple of things about polluted oxygen. Um, first, uh, in the live build, <laughs> the dupes don't actually consume... Sorry. Go on, I'll let it happen. Just keep going. Go, you're let, no, uh, just keep going. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm very upset now. <laughs> um, what I was going to say is they don't actually properly consume polluted oxygen. Um, they do now, so it's not, it's not as overpowered as it is in live build. But it is, um, the disease tends to travel faster through it. So uh, having polluted oxygen in your base is still a bad idea. But it's, it's not itself the thing that causes you to have disease. It just means that a uh, base with polluted oxygen, disease will spread much, much quicker. Nice. Um, ta da! Oh, what's the cool thing I want to show? Um, uh, I'm going to build something with pumping to show it. Uh, let's see. There's a, one of our, our pals on here, Kaolin's Battle Fury, I believe was yep. the name, has brought something to at least my attention. That, okay. Uh, I'm about excited. my play or about, about your going play? On? That's correct. Oh, yes, God. That's true. Okay. There's a timer counting down. Uh, let's see here. Um, let me ask you another question the here. Timer Do you oh, mind doing God. it? Don't even! <laughs> Let it happen! No. No. <laughs> how much is left on those things? It doesn't matter. It does. Really, I'm going to go look at how much. Well, you is. can see how yeah. much time you've got remaining. Yeah. Okay. Oh, not much, buddy boy. Not much, buddy boy. Make that priority nine. I didn't do it with the keyboard shortcut, I'm sorry. Wow, well, you, you could have done it ever so slightly faster. <laughs> Perhaps that will be the difference. I should have should have had a separate camera pointing at the, the <laughs> choo -choo, keyboard. Choo -choo. I mean, it, it is really cool, but... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're going to make it. Uh, yeah. I'll tell uh, you that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. How much... Hover over that thing. Hover over which thing? The oxalite there. Oh, 
What's it bubbling away at? Ah, oh, yeah, you got yeah, time. It'll be fine. I'm sorry if you if people were excited about that. Yeah, well. Really? Would it would have been? Actually, is it even that bad? Whoa, gonna, playing with fire. It's just going to go down there, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to deconstruct this and... Um, oh, look. Oh, you could already prioritize that, even though. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, look, oh, we'll prioritize look. the deconstruction, but no, that was not. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's do this, and we're just going to let it flow uh, Hold on back here. into the basin. You, you, will you pr prioritize something heavily here? I want to. We've talked about this. Uh, what do you want me to do? Prioritize that. Yeah, hit prioritize. <laughs> <laughs> see that? Oh, Nine. You see it that? didn't work. It didn't work? <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, anyway. It, it worked the second time. Something oh, I think it's probably wrong. because you were on a different yeah. tool or, or some such business, you know. Name? New name? Let's hit us up. I hope Shh, we're waiting for a name. I hope GG is the name. I hope so too. Yeah. And fail. It fail. And the next comment about <laughs> this not working. <laughs> I Let's can't tell if they're names or if they're comments on how bad that demo went. <laughs> Biffa is calling you a monkey butt. No, I, don't, I think that's a name. I think, no, I, I, I know. I'm, I'm just saying it would be funny if the you, you, you see. Okay, GG. GG is actually there. Make it um, GG fail. GG <laughs> monkey butt. <laughs> Would, wait, would you pronounce this as GG or Gigi? That's my question for you. <laughs> That's cool. That's a cool <laughs> question. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Good job, Jamie. Oh, Good yes. Question. I'm very, very Thanks, proud man. Of so, we I'm are proud of let myself, this fall. too. Um, let's see. Um, I just have to build a little pumping thing first, and then I'll show another cool little demo. All right. Um, That'll involve the keyboard again. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Is that this, so? Yeah, it's something you did. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, let's see here. Biffa says you're French. Oh, uh, me? Yeah. yeah. It's true. Uh, uh, je parle français. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> Look yeah. at that. I was born in Montreal, yeah. Dang. You know, I'm going to France next week there, right, buddy? Oh, Do yeah, you remember that's right. That? Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to speak French now, though. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of our millions of uh, Viewers, <laughs> that would be the GIF. Is it's sad that GIFs don't have sound because just, that would be the thing. It's true. It's true. All right, let's see here. Uh, I'm building <clears throat> just a little silly here, but uh, yeah, it's How, fine. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. It's for the purpose. Look at our boy Monkey demo. Butt sleeping outside the toilet there. Um, if you didn't know, I was fixing this this week, but. Uh, there was a problem with the algae habitats absorbing all your water if they were put on, in water. Because you can actually put an algae habitat directly in water. It yeah. consumes it from the world, which means the dupes don't have to spend time yeah. gathering Yeah, especially now with this, hey? Um, especially now that they won't gather that. Well, like the, they won't oh, collect right, from yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? That, that is part of the advantage of this is um, now if I pour water over the algae habitat, they won't actually go steal it from the habitat, which is cool, which can let you automate this. Yeah, you've got a loop there. So that ties in with a question that uh, Reza Kib was asking. Yeah. Um, it's, it's scrolled up now, so I can't see the entire question, but they were asking if uh, algae habitats will be more effective or something based on how ineffective they are compared to other methods or something. Um, if, uh, so the, the fact that you're pumping water doesn't really change the effective, effectiveness of the habitats. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, sorry, it, it does in that um, you have better control over the habitats, but they're not actually more effective. But if, um, <laughs> um, if, uh, if what you mean is will, be, will they be buffed so that, you, so that an algae-based oxygen solution is better than an electrolyzer solution, it's something we've talked about. We're not sure yet. So depending on which question you had, I either have an answer <laughs> or had zero answers. In both cases are uh, fine. Yeah. Rhymes with play. Sometimes you get answers. Has <laughs> answers or does not has yeah. answers. Has what you want or it doesn't. Sometimes the answers are in French inexplicably. Uh, yep. Uh, so. We'll do a quick recap of what we've gone over in a few moments here for those of you who have uh, joined us late. Hmm. What do to do? I want to still research. 
I want to get the flush toilet, and I want to get that. Looks like you're cheating, bud. No, I'm not going to cheat. Uh, that, that was a test. Yeah? You passed. Cool. I might cheat at the end if, uh, oh. if I don't get a chance to show I see, I see. Uh, what I want to show. But uh, I'm going to reconnect this for now. Oh, you deconnected it. Yeah, that's part. What could it be? <laughs> it's not. It's not that exciting. I'm. I'm building it up a little too what much. What are you talking about? The thing I'm going to sh show. Oh. The reason I'm building a stupid pump that pours ah, water yeah. on the one habitat and then floods <laughs> my base. Ah, yeah, I see. I yeah, see. It's I see. that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh God. Um, so the really bad one um, that can happen. Um, so if your dupe uh, gets sick. Um, mm. When they puke or oh. when they pee, uh, if it gets into your water source, um, the disease will actually spread there. It actually into spreads. your clean water. Yeah, well. it basically goes through your dew. So um, disease goes in and out. Um, but again, um, that's when you want to kind of like warm your water up to kill the germs. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I gotcha. That's cool. That's cool. Twenty-one <laughs> percent. <21%. sighs> Mushroom. Oh, hey, look, you got uh, polluted dirt there. I got polluted it's dirt. It's spitting out disease yeah. into the world there, I yeah. presume. That's actually how all this air got polluted, oh. is the dirt. I see, I see, mm. I see. Uh, that's. Oyabun, oh. welcome to the stream. Uh, that's all. The yeah. same high. Yeah, go um, on. One other one I want to You may show. continue. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> um, let's build a door real quick. Um, so I want to show the door, and um, okay, so this one is hard to demo, but it's true and it's happening. Uh, and if you pay attention, you should notice it. Um, there's a there's a feature that's been requested for a while. Um, I've often seen it called job swapping. I call it job preemption, which is basically um, so. For example, if you uh, have a dupe and um, they they're digging this tile. Uh, and they finish, and then another dupe is on the way to dig this tile, um, they will actually interrupt the other dupe and take over the job. Yeah. Um, so what Basically you'll notice is when you're, when you're building a base uh, over a large scale, uh, that dupe that's doing those dig jobs uh, will often interrupt someone who's on the way and then take over so that yeah, it does, just... they don't just sit there and wait for the other one to do something or they don't run back. And, yeah. Um, yeah, so that currently happens for digging, happens for construct. Uh, a few little technical issues for getting it to happen for delivering, but uh, might be able to do that. Um, the reason I built the door... That's a good door placement. Thank you. You've really sealed the... Uh, you've made a great airlock. <laughs> I've made a great airlock. You, <laughs> oh you see, it's sealed perfectly there, bud. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> um, so the uh, thing we're playing around with um, to see, so um, originally the access controls were only on the uh, powered airlock, but um, they're not, it's not like the doors are really, look, this is going to work perfectly. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, it's not like the doors are really kind of prison things. They're more like a control thing. So we've actually let you uh, set the settings on all, do uh, all doors uh, to make it easier for you to just isolate an area to one dupe. Um, that also helps with like if you want your uh, your sick dupes with weak mm. immune systems to live in a go and area. hang out in a in a quarantine zone, essentially. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't actually need this right now. While my you built that for a very specific reason. Yeah, though, I but thought. I need some research. Ah, uh, sorry. I see what you're yeah. getting at here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. I see okay. it. I see it. More and more. More and more. No, no, that was the name of it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for, for just accepting it, though. More and more asks, so can you uh, sanitize buildings? Um, so the disease itself, um, it dies off if the, so um, just over time, um, you can see what's a, what's a good example. So oh, yeah. here, you can see on the ladder, uh, the disease is already dying off here. Uh, and if I left it alone, this problem would solve itself. It's basically uh, wherever your dupes are active, they act as the spreading agent. Mm. That looks, that's just gross. 
That is gross. It's gross, gross, very yellow polluted, blood. dirt, disease. Two thing. million germs just chilling there on your floor, million. and you got it's a lot of germs. <laughs> it's a <dude>. lot of germs. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of germs. Thanks for your question, more and more. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We have food. Uh, oh, this research is done. All right, I'm gonna start building the flush station, and then what I wanted to actually build is. Um, <laughs> here. Yeah, let's go research that uh, while I build myself some flush stations. Uh, where should I do this? Where should I? Where should they go to the bathroom and then spit it out and then not wreck everything? There's nowhere. That's a good question. <laughs> it is a good question. Maybe where my mushrooms are. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe. Why not? Why not? It's already uh, pretty terrible there. Uh, Vlad Remy asks, does composting the polluted dirt get rid of the germs? Uh, does composting the polluted dirt get rid of the germs? I believe no, but I believe that's really smart. Does that happen in actual composting? No, I don't want to go and lick a compost. You don't There's still germs there. I don't know how that works. <laughs> this is my layman's understanding of uh, I wonder what type composting. of things, like, what, what's super gross to eat, and then someone's like, don't worry, there's no germs, and you're like, oh, okay. Or go and lick um, that. Nom, <laughs> nom, nom. It's been sanitized. <laughs> um, nom. Hey, that's a conversation my friends and I often have. Hey, what's gross to eat? Hey, oh, what's yeah. gross to eat? That's a conversation. <laughs> you you said it, not me. Oh, sorry. I thought you were serious. <laughs> no, uh, no, no. Is... Absolutely not. Compost salad is perfectly safe, says Clam Jam. All right. Chris, write that down. We got a new food item. JK. All right, so uh, going to bam hit the priority key. It actually worked. Cool. <laughs> oh Hold shoot! Ah, uh, we what? we don't need to show that. What were you show? I was gonna show the camera view of you typing a number. Oh, I see. The number. And nine. then would have jinxed it, and then nothing would have worked. The game would have crashed. Yeah. Gobbledygook. Yeah. Uh, Fafletchi, one last time. Sorry that we missed the earlier yeah, one. Yeah. What? 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 <laughs> <laughs> will dupes ever need to drink water? Uh, will dupes ever need to drink water? I don't know. Um, it's something we've talked about uh, very often. Um, not yet, and then not sure is the answer. Cool, cool, uh, cool. Name? Name. Hit us with the name there. <laughs> What do I actually want? You can actually see here, so you can actually, uh, so immunity is one of the starting stats. So oh, yeah. you can actually pick a dupe who resists diseases. Um, it can be your cleaner. And then medicine will come into play when you start getting rid of diseases. Remy. Uh, Remy's the name? Yeah, yes. Uh, I or Y? Y. Yeah? Yes. Or, no. Actually, they wrote. Uh, R E comma Y. Nope. That was the name that they suggested. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, watermelon. Good to see you. Welcome. Sometimes I wonder if somebody stands outside this room and just hears every so frequently, just shouting, "Watermelon!" Just. Sh you know. <laughs> sure, maybe. Toilet. <laughs> That'd like, be Jan. <laughs> He's like, oh my god. <laughs> What if I How much time is left? Can yeah. we just stop this madness? <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, if we, get, if we um, get a dupe to have it. Oh my god. Oh gracious this me. This is going poorly. Your um, mushroom is quite, quite gross there as well, yeah. there, bud. But um, if we get a dupe to go to the bathroom, or when they go to the bathroom, uh, so the difference now is that, um, I mean, they're already contaminated, just going to the bathroom is going to contaminate it. But if you uh, had a clean dupe, then the disease would uh, spit out through the pipe, come through the liquid vent, and then now um, your dirty water has disease. Mm. Um, and uh, purifying that uh, doesn't get rid of the disease. Right. You need to figure out uh, what you want to do to treat your water. Yeah. Watermelon, I hope you get the job, bud. Congrats on the interview. Mm -hmm. Hope it went well. Uh, you might want to. Will they use this uh, lavatory if you have these outhouses uh, so nearby? You are correct. Ready to. Uh, well, Bam. you're just going right for the deconstruct, eh? Bam. Nine, probably. Nine. On deconstruct. Well done. Now you just got. <laughs> 
growth bubble plopping away. Mm -hmm. All willing there. All right. Uh, what other stuff? Um, you can see here. Um, so again, still working on this stuff. I think um, I think we might do a stream on some of the world's changes that are going on. But you can see, like this is a much more interesting shape than mm. things you would usually see in the world. Yeah. Uh, so the biomes will look um, they'll look and feel different. Uh, and then what did I want to do? Actually, I want to dig into here. Even though that seems like a bad idea, there's a there's a reason for everything. I've, to I've learned to trust you, buddy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You've not killed anyone yet. So. Oh, they're gonna ruin me. Well, there we go. Okay. Well, <laughs> how quickly did the, you've not killed anyone yet? No, it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. This is this is high enough, right? Right. What? This won't this won't fill up all the way. Ah, well. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, neither here nor there. Neither. It's fine. Yeah. Ah, uh, you got to turn the pump on there, bud. Sorry, which pump? The pump leading to the loo. Your pump's off. Oh, you're, you're not right. gonna be able to flush that. Thank you. Yeah. Don't thank me. Thank Radist Morse and some others. Oh, you Boone says I know this guy. <laughs> He's going to drown innocents again. Yes. We remember the. Uh, you know, our boy, Redward. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah, definitely. All right. Who who wants to go to the bathroom? Yes. Use that toilet, buddy. Remy. Let's see what happens. Welcome to the toilet. Oh. Oh. I don't think he actually. Oh, uh, he didn't actually spread it. I'm sorry. Has he not? Uh... I think he might have to be a little bit sicker to actually make that happen. I love that you <coughs> you mentioned Redward once with his gang. Mm-hmm. And the, the chat just lights up. That's how much they loved uh, loved our boy. Yes. Our boy Remy. Or, uh, Redward. Remy is saying he was clean. Joke's on you. Um, this is uh, another thing I want to show is uh, often um, the way the liquid and gas plumbing overlays used to work um, is that they would always show a ball that moved from one cell oh, to the other. Yeah. Um, and now we actually show um, if it's a smaller amount. And actually, if you um, if you get partial movement instead of the whole ball moving, you will just see a little ball move between the two places. Ah, oh, I really like that. Yeah, look at that tiny ball there. <laughs> I really like that a lot. <laughs> so close. Oh, you're yeah, yeah, you're getting up there. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh, what? 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 What do they mean? <laughs> uh, yeah, we are not actually the developers. We are paid actors. Uh, they brought us in from the street. Do you get a paycheck? <laughs> I'm going to go talk to Jan. You just get paid by being able to hang out with me. Yeah? Which is, a, one might say, a negative payment. All right. So deconstruct this. <laughs> deconstruct this. Plumbing. Uh, I, I should clarify that we are not actually paid actors. You had to clarify. Yes, you know, you never, you know, we, uh, we indeed have worked on this game. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Thanks, man. Did I not? Ah, oh, I didn't actually one research point. the thing I wanted to. Hmm? Oh, I was just, I um, oh, there you go. Yeah, what, uh... What uh, people were noticing is here, this uh, is stuff we'll kind of get into in one of the other streams, is uh, you'll be able to find some uh, interesting things in the world. Um, some that's things. part of, yeah, some things. Some things. Some, should be possibly some creature, possibly some plants, possibly some things. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, that was awesome. Most likely some things, actually. Possibly some, you know, things, uh, yeah. et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but sticking with the thing, uh, things I want to kind of show, um, this would have been a better demo for um, <coughs> the actual small little balls. So, uh, <coughs> please <Yeah>. don't. What? <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry about it. So, um, I was just going to show, this is another big request, is to be able to type in the amounts on uh, switches and valves and things like that. This man here did that. Um, yeah. Um, and then if I do, you can see if I do liquid plumbing overlay, um, what it actually shows now is instead of showing um, oh. 
the whole ball moving, which was a lie. What would actually happen is, oh, there needs to be a little bit of transfer across the whole pipe. Now it's very clear that only a little bit of transfer yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah cool. Because um, really, um, not to say there wasn't actual pipe bugs, but a bunch of the pipe bugs that people would report would be like, oh, hey, um, there's something wrong with it. And yeah, then you yeah. had to hover to actually understand what's going on. Yeah. Um, so it looked like there was bugs where there may not have been. Yeah. So you can see um, this is because a little bit's going all the way through, and then when it comes out of the valve, you can actually see that it's a little bit of uh, liquid that makes it through. People are pretty stoked about that l numeric input. Yeah. I gotta tell you, that's. Uh... I, I built it up, and ah! hopefully it delivered. So I hope so. What are you freaking? Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, I see. I thought you were saying you built it. I was like, excuse me, sir. No, I didn't say sir. I built it. I how, built it up. How flippin' dare you, dude? I built it up. Just kidding. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Is that clean water in there otherwise? Uh, yeah. Wee. Yeah, I don't actually know how uh, quickly uh, food poisoning spreads in liquid. Um, I forget. Do you see this stuff in the pipe there when it's in the disease overlay? You see it? Um, so disease the overlay, there? you can see, uh, started trying to do, oh, this one's not working right now, sorry, but uh, started trying to do um, filters for the overlays, uh, give us more options for like focusing in on what you actually care about. Cool, um, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. What else was on this crazy list? I think that's, I think that's all the things I had for today. My friend, will mm -hmm. you do me a favor? Yeah. For those of us uh, who joined late, not, <laughs> not us, I've been here the whole time, but uh, perhaps mentally not. Uh, will you give us a quick recap of what you have showed uh, on sure. this fine Thursday afternoon? Um, I, so we are working on the next update, not hotfix, but actual update of content for Oxygen. Um, so what do we show? So actually first at the beginning I mentioned that probably in about two weeks we'll be opening up uh, the Mac build for preview uh, so people can actually try that out. Um, things that we showed here, um, big change is we reworked disease. So disease actually spreads. Um, you have disease sources in the world. Um, in this case just this toilet, the outhouse is a source. Um, as the dupes actually interact with the sources they get disease on themselves and when they go and touch things or um, or walk around or breathe in and out, they actually spread in the world. The diseases are sensitive to different simulation things. I'm kind of doing a little spiel here. It is I don't even really know what I'm, who I'm impersonating, but I'm doing something. You're, being, you're just being real, dude. Yeah. But uh, basically, the diseases play um, with all the other systems in the world. And um, really, today, we basically just showed um, how it spreads through the world. And in a uh, future stream, before we actually release the game, we'll probably get into uh, how you prevent that and how you clean it up and things like that. Um, some of the other things was um, huh? really got food poisoning. Someone actually got sick enough. Uh, oh, <laughs> right in there, buddy. Stream bean. <laughs> Someone actually got sick enough to get food poisoning. Right. <laughs> so um, in a future stream, we'll talk, probably talk about curing and things like that. Um, this is a new farming overlay, makes it much easier to understand what's going wrong or what's going wrong well with your plants. That's just so um, funny to me that he went right in there. <laughs> like, ah! Yeah. All right, sorry, um, carry on. There are some new plants. Um, here we showed kind of some temp art for a mushroom. We'll show some cool art next time of uh, what the mushroom actually looks like. Uh, you'll probably find a couple of other plants in the world. Um, yield has been replaced, and we're basically going to... Um, replace yield with more plant, more art, more different constraints, things like that. Yeah. Um, and a bunch of other things like keyboard shortcuts for valves and keyboard shortcuts for priorities and what other crazy Water, stuff. You, the water stuff there, the pump there. Oh yeah, the about pump. That already? Um, the manual pumping station here, which basically gives you control over where you actually pump liquid from the world, um, which means that uh, <laughs> doing something like setting a drip for your algae habitat is way more effective and it also just solves the uh, phantom water fetching if you're familiar with that if you played for a really long time ghost water is terrifying um, yeah um, then we showed the the updates to the plumbing or liquid overlays and gas overlays um, so I didn't actually build a gas pump here but the same uh, ch visual changes are there for gas and liquid um, and then someone asked for ETA um, 
working hard on it. Don't have a date yet, sorry. Um, it's still going to be a few weeks yet before uh, we can get this out to you guys. But um, hopefully, um, maybe next week, maybe the week after, we'll be able to show you some more stuff, show you how you actually deal with the new challenges that are in the update. So, yeah. Dang. Um, Great spiel. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was good. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Uh, also, oh. we also said that we will make it so that you can prioritize va valves and repair. Is that? Are you sure that's what that says? I'm that not sure like, that's what it says, but that's what like I'm going to do. somebody sneezed on a sheet of paper and then smudged it around a little and bit. And that's there. it for today. <laughs> that was a fun story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Well, anyway, let's, uh, shall we call her? Yeah. All right, let's see here. Let's close this game up. You want to? Okay, yep. Alt F4 there. Let me uh, switch it to old cam only. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. After, <laughs> and then it's just us saying yeah for a while. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take off here. Uh, th uh, thank you as always for hanging out. Uh, we love to see you. Uh, we will be hosting our uh, pal Bad Buck after this. So please give them the love that you give us uh, that we always appreciate. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. Bye.